Okay, well, thank you for that answer. And, and you know, from my familiarity with antioxidants is that they're key in cellular respiration and just overall cellular health. So is beta-glucan an antioxidant? Well, in the classical sense, an antioxidant is going to be something that either gives up an electron, is going to grab an electron, you know, and, and, and uh, uh, neutralize that free radical, or somehow defeat the oxidizing agent and neutralizing it. Beta-glucan is not an antioxidant in that uh, respect. What you're going to find is that there's a lot of debris, a lot of garbage in the body that gives rise to free radicals. Well, one of the great jobs that the immune system does, uh, particularly the phagocytes, is gobbling up and destroying and disposing of a lot of the garbage that's involved. Dead and dying cells. The immune system is constantly surveying and surveilling, and when it finds a cell that's weak and dying or damaged, well, it's all about getting rid of that cell, chewing it up, spitting out the part so it can be disposed of. Now you don't have a, a, a waste area that is providing for the release of free radicals. And so from that extent, now I will tell you kind of a, a, a funny aside uh, I, I, I put some beta-glucan in, a, in, a, in a, a glass one time and stirred it up and dropped a 20-penny nail in there, brand new shiny 20-penny nail. And then I took another glass of water, same source of water, in another glass, didn't put any beta-glucan in it, dropped the 20-penny nail in there, came back in a week, the one without beta-glucan was rusty. So one might argue, well, it stopped the oxidation. Well, I might suppose that. I couldn't explain to you why. Just a neat experiment to just kind of play with.